Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Thanks enjoy your time. All camp long. Yeah, you, you, you think this is going to be a competition between Crowell and Terrence West. They end up trading away Terrence West before the season starts. Duke Johnson ends up getting a concussion, was just cleared this week to play today. And then, as you mentioned, Sean Drone moved up from the practice squad to the active roster. So there has been some shuffling, been some shuffling going on. Third and goal. The Browns, four out of four on third down conversion so far. McCown on the move 10 5 diving lost the football recovered in the end zone by the Jets it is for the touchback Antonio Cromartie covered the loose ball and we have penalty markers down on the field with a little pushing and shoving after the whistle What was a great drive for the Cleveland Browns, converting third downs, moving the ball, time of possession, everything. The rule on the field is that the quarterback fumbled the ball prior to going to the end zone, where it was recovered by the Jets for a touchdown. After the play was over, postal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense from the 55, the 15 yard penalty would be a force from the 20 yard line. So Alex Mack Timeout. is guilty of the personal foul. And you have to like the effort that Josh McCown gives. He's scrambling up the middle to tip, attempting to get into the end zone, break the plane. The ball is clearly out before he crosses the plane. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find Southwest Airlines fares online only at southwest.com. FanDuel, the leader in one-week fantasy football. And by Nicolo Ultra, the superior light beer. As McCown is getting close to the end zone here, he decides to dive for it. Calvin Pryor is the one that initially makes that hit and knocks the ball loose, and Demario Davis puts that second hit on him, but the ball clearly comes out. So here are the Jets now from the 35, and this is Chris Ivory right side. And bumped out of bounds across the 45 to 46 yard line. Once again, McCown going for the end zone, tucks it away. You see Pryor come in and knock that ball loose. We're going to have to keep an, an eye on Josh McCown, make sure he's okay after taking a big hit. Not only the hit, but the way he lands right on his face mask. So a first down for the Jets at their own. Man. Well, all kidding aside, an amazing career, uh, well-earned place in the Maryland Athletics Hall of Fame. Recent induction. You were up there, I believe, well, a couple of weekends ago with the family. Uh, just had a fantastic run. What, four college cups, a national title, Herman Trophy. And you and I, I believe, had the same number of offers coming out of <laughs> high school. And that was where the similarities ended. As the offside flag 
is raised. Yeah, it was quite a run there. Some great teams we had back in the day. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> go ahead. I don't, I don't know I what mean, you're going to say. Since, but go since ahead. we talked about go me so much, it. I mean, we got to get some <laughs> oh my <laughs> Craig stuff out. Look at this. Oh, my God. Just a legend. The peak. Look at this. Ward Melville. Look at that, oh, man. Oh, those shorts, a, man. About Jeez. a buck 15 soaking wet. <laughs> We had the same haircut, though. Did you notice that? I was trying to Good be like stuff. Jason Gary, but <laughs> didn't have the technical skill to pull it off. Well done, man. That's I don't know if my parents have pictures from those days. Probably <laughs> tore them all up. That's outstanding. And Mrs. Well Craig done. came through well Did on she? that one, yeah. Shannon Craig, credit to her. So, all right, she didn't throw them away. That's good to know. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a soccer game going on, by the way. <laughs> That's right. Because we're talking about us. Yeah. Uh, still 0 0, <laughs> thankfully. We didn't miss any goals with all that craziness. Uh, that's fun. Good times. Stroll down memory lane. Yeah, but re really, what's up with those shorts, man? Those, those XXLs you had on there? Yeah, I don't know, man. Whatever it was, it didn't work. I do like the fact that I had the Jason Gary haircut. <laughs> that was great. So now St. Clair tees it up one more time. Just under 28 to go. Been good action thus far. Yeah, for me, though, Duke's had the better of the play, I believe, creating more chances. Maryland's got to figure out a way to get some possession here. Yeah, I would agree with you. Here's another opportunity, perhaps, once Rayanne stretches the legs out. Becomes even harder to deal with Bergman with the task right now. Rayanne sends it across. A step or two too late on the run was broke, but... That front line for Duke has put together quite a few chances. Rayanne, Proke, Daniel Wright, Ian Murphy all have been involved. And that, it's actually good defending here in the end from Chase Gaspar, just trying to force Issa Rayanne out to the outside. Force him outside, force him outside, don't dive in. It's a dangerous ball across the box. Nearly Proke trailing the play. Found him seven or eight yards out, and that would have been a goal. But Issa Rayanne has been, for me, the best player on the field so far. Hervé trying to turn with it. Sadich flicks it on. Now Bin in front of the Duke bench. A nice ball. Cornelli looking to switch the field and does. This is better for Maryland here. Ball deflected out. When it's gone inside the 18-yard box, Duke has put up a brick wall there. Clearance on the first touch oftentimes. DeRosa. That one's off the back heel of Matias Frick. Cleared away by Daniel Wright. Pine steps in front of Proke. It's a very American term and it's used always. You'll hear it in volleyball. Fighting off their bombs as a bomb of a hit, a bomb of a serve. It's what the Americans use always in volleyball. And it doesn't matter who you're playing. It's a volleyball term, and that's all it will ever be. Nice <laughs> done by Sousa. Everyone has had a swing now. Everyone is a threat for Brazil. Serves. That's a really good pass from Luaga Tia. It's off the hands. Luaga is playing in Greece for Thessaloniki. You just wonder, being called up to the big show and playing here at this World Cup, what that will do for his profile. Great shot from the Kareni. Time out USA. Interesting facts. Stahl with the big bushy beard. 
trying to become another member of ZZ Top. If that touches the net, it isn't actually a net fault. If your hair touches the net, it's not a fault. For those of you that didn't know that, you do now. For those of you that did, you still know. It's more prevalent in the women's game because of the ponytails. Right, catch the net. Liao with the serve. Bruno's out there waiting. They know that ball's coming out wide. And it's so much pressure on Souza to get out. That's a top swing from Russell. He's done that plenty of times to Bruno over the seasons playing in Italy. Thank <laughs> you. 